In this tutorial, we'll look at how to split a background into two colors with HTML and CSS. All right, so I just have an HTML boilerplate here linking to a style sheet here. It's currently empty. So the easiest way to do this is actually with the uh, a background image, a linear gradient on the body element. So we can say background image because linear gradients are treated like images in CSS. All right, so it's really important that you have mastered uh, CSS. I have a whole course on that. It only takes a couple of hours and it will benefit you for the rest of your career. So if you want to take it to a professional level, definitely check it out. But a linear gradient, what we can say is maybe we want the first half to be black, let's say. So we could say black at 0%, but it should still be black at 50%, right? And then the second half maybe should be orange. So let's see, we can say orange, 50%. And then it should still be orange at 100%, right? So this is how you would write it. So then if we refresh, we get a split screen, right? So this is going from, this is going to the right. We can also make it vertical, right? You can say to bottom, for example, it will go from top to bottom. And actually when you do that, you actually get this very uh, weird result, actually makes me a bit nauseous. And I think that probably, this probably has to do with the height of the body. So if we just set the height or minimum height, of the body to 100% of the viewport height, we should get the result that we want. Yeah. And when you do that, you may actually get a scroll bar here because the browser adds some default styling to the body and also other elements on the page. So for example, it adds some padding to the body. And then we also set a minimum height. So that actually gets added on top of that. So now the height in total is a little bit more. And so you're going to get this scroll bar. It's a little bit confusing. So typically, people have a CSS reset to remove that default styling from browser. So we're going to select all elements on the page. We're going to remove all the padding that the, the browser may have added and also all the margin. And typically people also set the box sizing property to border box. You don't really have to understand this one. This is the most, most difficult property in CSS. I have a separate video on this. Um, if we refresh now, that um, vertical scroll bar is gone. And that's how you would uh, have a, uh, a vertical um, split screen. I'm going to change it back to horizontal for now and let's add some uh, content in the center, right? So what we could do is we could have some uh, div and we'll just call it content. And maybe we have some text in here. Welcome to the website. Actually, I'm going to make this a par paragraph. Actually, I'm just going to make it a heading. Welcome to the website. Okay. Um, it's very straightforward, right? You know how to style this 50 pixels. Let's make the color um, white. Let's see what we have. All right, so this is what we have. We want to put it in the center. Now, you to center something, the best solution is actually to use a flexbox, right? So really make sure you, 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 you have mastered flexbox. It's one of the most important concepts in CSS. So what you do is you say display flex. This will be the flex container. And then to center it horizontally, we can use justify content center, right? And then vertically, we can use align items center, right? And that's how you can perfectly center something. It's really the, the easiest way to center something in uh, in CSS, right? So the Flexbox is also an important part of the CSS course. So definitely check it out, right? And from here on, you can continue styling it. You can add a background color here. You can add a button. You can do whatever you want. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.